What's up guys, it's Tao here. Today I will be showing you two of my favorite features in Windows 11. These are the Snap Layout and a Virtual Desktop. So if you haven't heard of them before, come along. Oh, I will try to keep it short. So at the moment, I'm running a Hackintosh with Windows 11 Dual Boot. So I do use those two features quite often and I switch between Mac OS and Windows all the time. So in my opinion, the Snap Layout feature is far better in Windows than in Mac OS. However, on the other hand, the Virtual Desktop feature, I think in my opinion, it's better in the Mac OS. So let me show you guys. All right, let's jump right into Windows. Uh, let me open a few windows and just to show you guys how easy it is just to use the Snap Layout. And here, traditionally, the easiest way to use the snap layout is just drag uh, windows to the left and then uh, you will have different options to choose what you want to do and uh, you can adjust it and uh, for example on the top you can do on the top you can do on the right you can do with the corner and then um, you know depending on the size of it um, sometimes it's quite, quite small if you have four windows open at the same time uh, in different corners so but now here is a new improved feature if you hover your mouse on top of the maximum button there now you have different preset layout I think it's pretty cool now I personally use um, snap layout quite often almost on a daily basis uh, sometimes I have to manually adjust the layout, uh, you know, sometimes too big from the windows too big or windows too small. And for example, this, if I choose the this particular layout, now if I click on that, now they give you option for me to choose what is on either side. So for example, I choose the task manager on the left. And if I choose, for example, uh, store on the right, and again, you can manually adjust it depending on your preference. So to me, this is quite useful. And again, you can again choose different layout again. So here it is. I can choose this and that. And that you have three different windows at the same time. Now, the difference between this and the Mac OS. Now, Mac OS technically only give you about three different options. Once you hover on top of the maximum and button so it will give you maximum either on the left screen or on the right screen and but this it just give you a lot more presets and a lot more of versatility now the second improved feature is the virtual desktop or multiple desktop so here are the different windows uh, at the bottom there are options for you to create new desktop so if you click on plus uh, there is a desktop uh, a created. What I actually notice on um, if you have uh, two monitors or multiple monitors, on both monitors they have exactly the same um, desktop layout. Or it also, if you create on the primary desktop, it also create as another one in the secondary monitor. So if you close one, it will close the other at the same time. And also, if you drag a uh, say this window into a new desktop. And then we create another one and on the secondary monitor we also create another one automatically i hope this is not the case because if you just want to use the primary monitor um, you don't want to use secondary monitor or you don't want to create a multiple a desktop on the secondary monitor you don't really have any choice so a it will be nice if you have independent uh, layout or independent functions on two monitors and also what I noticed that if you do want to for example drag this window onto a secondary monitor and you can't and you can't really do that while you are, you are in the overall view so which means if you let's say if you do have a multiple uh, desktop there and then if you want to let's say if you want to drag uh, again this window to a secondary monitor you can't and into a brand new desktop a virtual desktop you can't you can't really do that and um, you're gonna have to 
drag into the second one on the prime monitor. If you go back to on the secondary monitor, click on the desktop two, now the screen, and will not be on the secondary monitor. So again, you're gonna have to manually drag onto it. So what, what I wish, if Microsoft, you are watching, please make this virtual desktop more versatile or at least cross screen organization. So which means you can drag the virtual desktop or screen to any desktop or to any monitor you like and you can organize that way because right now literally you have no option to drag it and also you have no option to arrange the virtual desktop icon while you in the view so it just won't let you do it so look from the secondary to prime monitor yes you can actually see it but it just won't let you move it at all so it's not really a big deal maybe i'm just being very picky uh, because i use the desktop a virtual desktop in the Mac OS almost on a daily basis. So that was very convenient. You can actually cross uh, screen, cross monitor, and you can create a different uh, desktop independently, depends on the monitor you own. So yeah, Microsoft, if you could make it better or similar to the Mac OS maybe, and that would be fantastic. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please smash the like button and share with others. So see you guys in the next video.